Damn it! So I was thinking to myself the other day, Lore, you shining example of all that is man. We haven't heard anything new about Cataclysm in quite a while. And merely at this thought, I, Lord de la Tankspot a la Nueve de Rambo, willed into existence several new blue posts that explain the new stats and system changes in Cataclysm in quite a bit of detail. Okay, maybe they just posted them on their own, but still, there's a whole lot of new info about the stats and system changes out, and I'm going to tell you all about it. And before I begin, I have three things that I'm going to mention first. First of all, Yes, a lot of this information was already made available at BlizzCon. There's just a lot of new details that have come out along with these, uh, these new posts that make it worth discussing. Second, this is incomplete information. This is not the entirety of every single change that's happening in Cataclysm. So, if something seems completely out of whack, don't worry too much just yet. There is probably something else that's going in that's going to make it make sense. Finally, before I talk about any of the stat changes or anything else, I want to make very clear one important change that's been kind of getting glossed over uh, in internet discussion over the past few days. You get a small bonus to your mastery stat, which I'll discuss a little bit later, uh, for wearing the appropriate type of armor for your class. So for paladins, warriors, and death knights, you get a bonus for wearing plate. Uh, for hunters and shaman, you get a bonus for wearing mail. For druids and uh, rogues, you get a bonus for wearing leather. And then for priests, mages, and warlocks, you just get a bonus because cloth is all you can wear. Now, what that means, all other stat changes aside, is that you will definitely want to be wearing the appropriate type of armor for your class. No more warriors in leather, uh, no more balanced druids wearing cloth, that sort of thing. Obviously, you still can wear the lower armor types if you really, really desperately want to. Like, maybe you're a balanced druid, and a piece of cloth caster loot drops, and it's better than what you have, but only because what you have is terrible. You can still equip that, you're just going to want to replace it with a leather piece still. Now then, let's talk details. Lots and lots of stats are going away on a long vacation from whence they shall not return. The stats that are going away completely and you will never see anywhere again are, in no particular order, defense. You will not have it as a skill, it will not show up on your gear, and you will not care. Any existing defense is being turned into dodge or parry, or in some cases even block rating, and tanks will be able to become uncritable against creatures just by shifting into their respective stances or threat modifiers or what have you. Weapon skill is being given a similar treatment. Now, obviously that hasn't been on gear in quite some time, however now you won't have to level it up either, or even train in different weapon types. Every new character that is created will immediately be completely proficient with every weapon they are capable of equipping. Mana per 5. Bye bye. There are some very heavy modifications going in for Spirit, which I'll discuss a little bit later, but for now I'll just say that Mana per 5, if that's a stat that you wanted, well, you don't want that anymore, now you want spirit instead. Now, on the list of stats that will still technically exist in some fashion or another, but will not show up on your gear, we have... Armor Pen! Not on gear anymore, not in any fashion. The only form of armor pen that will still exist is things from talents, or from abilities like Sunder or Fairy Fire. Shield Block Value. Every single block will now reduce incoming damage from that hit by 30%. Flat value, not increasable except maybe through talents or something. You will not be able to improve it through gear, so shield block value as a stat on your gear is gone. Spell power will no longer be a stat on your gear either. You'll still get it, it just comes through intellect instead. The more int you have, the more damage your spells do. Now there is one exception in the form of caster weapons. They wanted to be able to still have a caster weapon be a huge upgrade for a caster the way it is for a melee class or a hunter, so those will still have spell power on them, just nothing else will. And finally, attack power is gone, at least for the most part. Uh, they said it still will remain on some items, and it's not totally clear what some items consists of yet. It could just be things like rings and trinkets and so on. Uh, it could just be on rare, random trinkets that have procs that they want to be good for everybody. Not totally sure there yet, but for the most part, attack power will be gone. Instead, you will either get your attack power through strength if you're a strength class, in pretty much the same way you do already, or if you're a class that's benefited from agility, you will now get two attack power per agility, regardless of class, and they may reduce the amount of crit that you get from agility just to help compensate for that. Now, 
Pretty much every stat I haven't mentioned already is sticking around in some fashion or another. There just are a lot of changes going in for some of them. Intellect, like I mentioned already, now grants spell power directly. They are probably going to reduce the amount of mana that intellect gives to compensate for that a little bit, but it will give both of them. Spirit, and in fact the entire way that casters regenerate mana, is being changed quite a bit. Uh, it's now a healer stat only. DPS casters will still be able to regenerate their mana, they just won't need spirit to do it. They're being given other ways to do that. Uh, healers will want spirit as their mana regeneration stat, but the way it works is being changed quite a bit. Uh, probably to be some sort of combination between the mana per five system and the spirit system. They also mentioned that they may just be completely doing away with the five second rule, so we'll have to keep our eye out for more information on that. Haste is being given a big kick in the ass also, with the goal of making it a good stat for all of the classes that don't like it right now. Haste will now increase the amount of rage that warriors gain. Uh, it will increase the rate at which uh, rogues recover energy and hunters recover focus, which remember, hunters are using focus now, not mana anymore. It will also refresh the cooldowns on a Death Knight's runes much faster. Now, Enhancement Shaman already love haste, so no real need for a change there. As far as rep paladins go, they didn't give any new information, but hopefully we'll learn something new in the future. Now, as far as dodge, block, and parry go, dodge is still a 100% reduced avoided attack. It just didn't hit you. Uh, block, like I said earlier, is being changed to a static 30% damage reduction on a physical attack that you block. Uh, parry is being changed also. Instead of being a 100% avoided hit just like dodge is, now it's a 50% reduction on the hit that you parry, and then a 50% reduction on the hit after that also. So when you parry, that attack and the next attack are reduced by 50%. Now as far as stamina and armor goes, uh, the amount of stamina and armor that shows up on leather, uh, cloth, and mail gear is being brought up a little bit. Uh, just to bring them a little bit closer to the plate wearers. Now you're still going to want to have a tank tanking things, and a clothy is still going to be incredibly squishy if they manage to catch aggro. It's just not going to be quite as massive of a difference as it is currently. Resilience is also being streamlined quite a bit and simplified. Uh, now instead of doing 17 different things, all resilience does is reduce the amount of damage you take and critical damage that you take from other players. No more reduction in mana drains, no more reduction in crit chance, it's just damage and crit damage. Finally, they are adding the Mastery stat to the game. Now this one's a little more complex than any of the other stats we've seen so far, but let me try to explain it for you real quick. Say there was a stat called Awesome, and the more awesome that you had on your gear, the more awesome you are. Mastery is pretty much that, except they called it Mastery instead of Awesome. It is basically like a wildcard stat. It does something different for everyone based on what tree they're specced into. Now they did say that they'd be giving us a lot more information on what exactly the mastery stat does uh, in the fairly near future here. It's also fairly heavily based on the talent tree overhaul which we know next to nothing about at this point. Now, a few more important things to mention along with all of this. Having lots more stamina on leather DPS pieces means that the bare form stamina modifier needs to come down a little bit. This is not a nerf. All they're doing is keeping your already massive health pool from becoming absolutely retarded. All of the existing gear is being reworked to fit into the new system. So what that means is that attack power is being turned into agility and stamina. Uh, armor penetration is being turned into either haste or crit depending on the piece. Uh, intellect is being removed from male DPS items. Hunters won't need it because they're using focus and enhancement shaman are being compensated for it in some other way. Spell power, with the exception of caster weapons like I mentioned earlier, is being turned into intellect and stamina. Uh, spirit is being completely removed from caster DPS gear and presumably replaced with something else, and is replacing all the mana per 5 on healer gear. Now, for balanced druids and elemental shaman, you'll be using the same gear as your healer counterparts, which means it will have spirit on it. It won't have hit. You will have a talent that converts that spirit into hit. Uh, Shadow Priest will presumably just be using the same caster DPS gear that uh, mages and warlocks are using, and Holy Paladins kind of remain their own special snowflake that makes sure that the shard market never goes dry. One other thing that's important to mention here is that they're adding a sort of scaling to raid bosses in Cataclysm that effectively means you need more hit or crit or expertise or whatever raiding uh, to get the same result as you progress through the tiers. So for example, 
uh, a tier 11 raid, you'll need more hit than for a level 85 heroic, and then for a tier 12 raid, you'll need more hit than for the tier 11 raid. Now the idea there is to make getting to the hit or expertise cap or whatever uh, easier in the lower tiers of content, while not making hit and expertise and such just complete throwaway stats when you get into the later tiers. Finally, I want to make quick mention of the reforging skill. Uh, this has been one of the most misunderstood new things that they're adding in Cataclysm so far. What reforging lets you do is take a stat that you really don't care about and turn it into a stat that you do. What it doesn't let you do is take an awesome item and make it even better. One of the examples they gave was like turning block rating into parry rating or something. So the Death Knight tank, who just has been having terrible luck, can pick up a piece of block rating gear and turn some of that block rating into parry so it's not as bad for them. Alright, I'm out of time. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week.